It's supposed to be 97 degrees today. The wind feels like it's already in the 90s, but uh, I'm almost at the turnaround point. Up here in some skinny water, uh, there's a new tree down. Sometimes that causes detours that I can't handle. This one I think is going to be okay. But this rock coming up is usually my put on my flippers point. So now we'll see how many, we'll keep an eye on this tree and see how many decades it sits here. Every year I get more and more tempted to bring a pruning saw with me. But on some level it just seems pointless. Get around this new obstacle. Put her down in first gear until it's taking a little more power to paddle in the deeper water. I lucked up this morning the judge the water just right. I think on up at the powerhouse they've already kicked it on but just one turbine. Later in the day they'll go to two turbines. Alright. So here's a look at the down tree from the other angle. I'll get my flippers on and we'll get serious about fishing here. I do. Here he comes. Here he comes. Like this little spot's paid off again. More of, a, more of a bluegill spot than a trout spot, but okay with that. Oh, doesn't this fella look pretty? I like those rays around his face. Let me go, mean man. All right. June is known as the typical season for rhododendrons to bloom. Here's a wild one right there blooming. Always like the wild rhododendrons. A little closer look at the wild rhodo. conscious decision this morning to not bring my gar gear. Shoot, there's somebody just fluttered by. So of course I run into a pod of them. What fun is a GoPro if you don't take underwater shots? So I'm gonna drift over them again. Here, here they are. taking a shot here to see if my microphone recovered from being underwater. This is just memory. This is kind of the fast slot at the creek confluence. You can see those three branches sticking up from that fallen timber. That's the gar spot. I will be back sooner than you think. Tomorrow's a big rain day, so it may be a couple days from in here again, but I want to catch some gar. Specifically those, there were a couple of good sized ones. Up into this area where there's down timber and the fish feel pretty secure up in there. I had a lot of bites 
thumps and bumps. But now I got a real customer on the line. And he looks well hooked, so no snack for the cat. Industry aside, let's lip him like a bass. Oh, with that little tooth. Not a bad looking trout. Alright, little after action report. I might be done, I might not. I'm paddling down to the slot, see who's hanging out there. What all happened today? Well, first off, the water was perfect. Temperatures in the 90s, water's in the 60s. You just can't beat that. Getting your legs wet when it's that hot outside. Got into some bluegill, some of those little sunfish. Figured out where the gar are laying up. Of course, I didn't have my gar gear. Then I got into the rainbows. I had more bumps and thumps and spit outs and catches. And I think that's the rainbows trying to tell me to bring my fly rod and work with them a little more subtly next time. I think I could clean up. So that's the plan. Next time, fly rod, nymphs, strike indicator bobber, gar rig. Looking forward to the transition from June to July. Soon we'll see some striped bass up in here. That'll be a whole different format of fishing. But uh, I think I'm kind of retrained on fishing. I've kind of not done it for a couple years while I focused on work. Now everything seems to be flowing again. I can spot them, I can find them, I can paddle. So. Go down here and hit the slot. If something memorable happens, I'll uh, film that too. All right, no no strikes at the slot. A little pan around view of the boat. Fast water on the right. Slow water on the left. Down here at the slot. Going to call it a day. Go to the boat ramp. See what kind of hoot man is going on there. And I'm gonna try to edit in some banjo music just because this is Tennessee. 